How about we learn the basics of shapes deforming, a cool way to manipulate your mesh and get some quite interesting results in no time. So let's see what we have here. Deforming in Blender can go with many tools, and one of the important tools is the lattice. Let's say I have this cube with some subdivisions. You can go to the Add menu and see that there's a lattice object there which we can add to the scene, but also we have in the deformed modifiers something called lattice. So what's the deal with that? This works as simple as it gets. For example, to deform this cube, I need a lattice object from the Add menu. You can use Shift-A as a fancy shortcut, and if you see nothing, the lattice is probably inside your mesh. So just switch to wireframe mode or scale it up, because we need it as a cage around the mesh. You will also get some extra settings in the data for the lattice resolution or the number of control points. You can go with this based on the shape you have in mind. Now this lattice object can be edited, but it won't affect the cube yet, because we need to link those control points from the lattice object to the cube. Thus, we need to add a lattice modifier to the cube. You can find that in the deform section, and just assign the lattice object inside as the modifier's object from the list, or with the pick icon by selecting it in the layers or in the scene. Normal stuff of selection. Once you link the cube to the lattice grid, moving any point from the lattice in edit mode will deform the cube, and that effect will go up till the next control point. That's why you need to adjust the lattice resolution to your needs. The animation at the start is based on this. With just a rotation on the lattice points, we can spin this cube. Then with a subdivision surface modifier, things can look much nicer. You can go with moving the cube alone while making it go through the lattice grid and generate some cool effects, especially for settled interior renders or some quick abstract stuff, though you might need to go with curves animation if you need to animate a lot of things. Anyway, you can go with this one for a cool one object animation, and with simple key framing using the I key, we can move this cube through the lattice and generate the animation in two seconds. Now the way I go by it is with shape keys, because for me, lattice with shape keys goes really well together. So let's go back a bit from the history, and to move this since we bind it together, we can select both the lattice and the cube and move them up with no issue. You can also change the resolution mid-work if you want to adjust that but I would recommend keeping it to a minimum since it can break down your work. A cube like this won't be a problem, but with bigger shapes, try to keep the resolution fixed from the start if possible. Using lattice with shape keys for animation is easy. I can go here in the data shape keys section and hit the plus icon two times to get both the basis and key one showing in the list. And with the first key selected, we can edit the lattice object, play with it in edit mode, maybe rotate the top part or scale some points in it, go wild with this one, and once you go out of edit mode, things will go back to normal. Don't freak out. We have now this value slider to change the shape from before the deformation to after. I won't go through the range value or the vertex group cause we would need another video for that, and I think we did one already, I might even put that in the end screen. Anyway, with this, we can as before, keyframe the value to animate the shape by hitting the I key over it, or from the animate dot on the right side of it, both works the same. This way, we can animate the motion to one side, 
Then to continue, we can add another key, key 2, and do the same. Go to the lattice edit mode, change the point scale and position, play with them around, and exit edit mode to get the value ready. With those keys going after one another, we can get a nice smooth animation of this cube working out. Or, if you have another crazy idea, then we're all ears. You can go with key 3 and 4 up to the number you need to get the animation you want. So have fun. You can do other things with it. Say like with a cylinder. I can delete the top and bottom faces, then maybe add some cuts on it and make the topology crossed with poke faces. Then tries to quads. Super easy and fun topology trick, and you should try it one day. Now, like before, we can add a lattice object around the cylinder. Make it on 4 for the W resolution. You can even play with the grid, then link the cylinder with a lattice modifier. Super easy and fun stuff. I can scale down the midpoints, play on the far one by moving or rotating. It will look nice, so just go with the flow. A wireframe modifier can look dope on this, so drop one on it, and maybe with a bevel for the edges, or a subdivision, but subdivision goes crazy after wireframe, so be careful. So let's move this to here, scale that this much, do this and that, and we get this shape at the end. It looks like a chair, but it's not. Still cool though, so just do it. You can do many things with this regarding architecture design, and we did a number of tutorials using it. It's like one of the big tools, so you will need it one way or another. And that's it. Hope this been fun, and see you next time. Stay sharp. Goodbye.